Good evening, everyone, and welcome back. Tonight will be chapter 27 of the book of Genesis. Let us once again begin. Verse 1. Now it happened that when Isaac was old and his eyes were too dim to see, that he called his older son Esau and said to him, My son, and he said to him, Here I am. And Isaac said, Behold, now I am old, and I do not know the day of my death. So now, please take up your gear, your quiver and your bow, and go out to the field and hunt game for me, and prepare a savory dish for me, such as I love, and bring it to me that I may eat, so that my soul may bless you before I die. Now Rebekah was listening while Isaac was speaking to his son Esau. Then Esau went to the field to hunt for game to bring to Isaac. But Rebekah spoke to her son Jacob, saying, Behold, I heard your father speaking to your brother Esau, saying, Bring me some game and prepare a savory dish for me, that I may eat and bless you in the presence of Yahweh before my death. So now, my son, listen to my voice as I command you. Go now to the flock, and get for me two choice young goats from there, that I may prepare them as a savory dish for your father, such as he loves. Then you shall bring it to your father, that he may eat, so that he may bless you before his death. Then Jacob answered his mother Rebekah, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. Perhaps my father will fill me, then I will be as a mocker in his sight, and I will bring upon myself a curse and not a blessing. But his mother said to him, Your curse be on me, my son. Only listen to my voice, and go, get them for me. So he went and got them and brought them to his mother, and his mother made a savory dish, such as his father loved. Then Rebekah took the best dormants of Esau, her elder son, which were with her in the house, and she put them on Jacob, her younger son, and she put the skins of the young goats on his hands and on the smooth part of his neck. She also gave the savory dish and the bread which she had prepared into the hand of her son Jacob. Then he came to his father and said, My father, and he said, Here I am, who are you, my son? And Jacob said to his father, I am Esau, your firstborn. I have done as you told me. Rise up, please, sit and eat of my game, that your soul may bless me. Then Isaac said to his son, How is it that you have found it so quickly, my son? And he said, Because Yahweh your God caused it to happen to me. Then Isaac said to Jacob, Please come near, that I may fill you, my son, whether you are really my son Esau or not. So Jacob came near to Isaac his father, and he felt him and said, The voice is that of Jacob, but the hands are like that of Esau. And he did not recognize him because his hands were hairy like his brother Esau's hands. So he blessed him. And he said, Are he really my son Esau? And he said, I am. So he said, Bring it near to me, and I will eat of my son's game, that my soul may bless you. And he brought it near to him, and he ate. He also brought him wine, and he drank. Then his father Isaac said to him, Please come near and kiss me, my son. So he came near and kissed him, and he smelled the smell of his garments. And then he blessed him and said, See the smell of my son is like the smell of a field which Yahweh has blessed. Now may God give you of the dew of heaven, and of the fatness of the earth. 
and an abundance of grain and new wine. May peoples serve you, and nations bow down to you. Be master of your brothers, and may your mother's sons bow down to you. Cursed be those who curse you, and blessed be those who bless you. We will end at verse 30, and pick it back up tomorrow evening. I love all of you, and I pray that God blesses each and every one of you once again. Have a good night, and sleep well. Goodbye.